What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today and I gotta take a step back for a little bit. I got a little announcement for you guys that you guys are gonna love. Me and Short Circuit Gaming SCG are bringing you guys my first ever giveaway on the channel for a $20 eShop gift card. So pretty cool giveaway. $20 eShop gift card. I feel like everybody benefits from that. But if you guys want to join the giveaway, link is down in the description below. There's multiple different ways to enter and you guys can enter multiple different times by doing different, uh, what is it, scenarios like following me here, following SCG over on Twitter, following SCG over on YouTube, follow me over on Twitter. There's a bunch of different ways to actually enter the contest. And the more you do, the more chances you have to win. There is a timer on it. I think it's like nine days, but we will announce the uh, winner of that in a couple days after that but I just wanted to get you guys that announcement link down in the description below to the giveaway and also if you want to get more details from it make sure you leave a comment i'll make sure to comment back letting you guys know if you have any questions and also there's more details over on my twitter page so go down link in the description below hit that twitter page link go check it out over there but yeah 20 dollars eShop giveaway card i'll be announcing it in uh future videos as well throughout the week so hope you guys are excited for that but let's get started here we're rocking out with a wonderful guard of team that features life for Belta and kyogre you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel click that big red subscribe button and join the community it really just go a long way so i'll give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers but let's get started here top left corner with the one and only guard for a pokemon that i barely ever use on the rank ladder for sword and shield but it's a really cool pokemon we got trace and assault vest alongside expanding force dazzling gleam icy wind and mystical fire so this thing is just full on attack it's got a bunch of cool moves to do a lot of different work you got dazzling gleam for stab you got expanding force for stab and then you got icy wind for speed control and mystical cool fire for that coverage and special attack job so really do like this pokemon right next to him is going to be incineroar so good Pokemon. Such a good Pokemon with Intimidate and Safety Guiles. Flutter Blitz, Taunt, Fake Out, Parting Shot. Fairly normal moveset for any Incineroar. Middle left is going to be a great Dynamax Pokemon for this team. It is going to be Life Orb Yvelta with a Dark Aurora ability. Rock and Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Dual Wing Beat for our stab move. We got Foul Play and then we got Tailwind for Speed Control for the squad. Right next to him is our second Restricted Mon Kyogre. Another Pokemon that is going to be good in Dynamax. We got Drizzle, we got Mystic Water, Water Spout, Ice Beam, Origin Pulse, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be a Pokemon that pairs well with Kyogre. It is going to be that Lightning Rod Raichu. And it is such a good lead Pokemon because it can E Web for Speed Control. It can Fake Out and allow other Pokemon to set up as well. We have Focus Sash as an item. Like I said, E Web, Fake Out. And then we got Helping Hand and Sing to put Pokemon to sleep. But my only problem with Sing is the accuracy is super low. So I don't really like to use it too much. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Indeed. Indeed over here being one of the top tier support mods. Absolutely love it with the Psychic Surge, Psychic Seeds, Expanding Force, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Protect. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Gardevoir and Life Orb you Let's get rolling here in battle number one. We're going up against a Groudon and Charizard team with Zacian, Tornadus, Cherum, and Torkoal. So heavy Sun team here with two Drought Pokemon, one for Trick Room and one for Normal Play, which is going to be the Groudon, which he's probably going to be bringing. But how should we go with this one? How should Jeans lead it? Incineroar is probably a solid lead due to all the physical attackers, and we can fake out turn one, so I'm really leaning towards Incineroar. So Incineroar, get on over here. We could go Yvelta as well, set up a Tailwind to kind of get rolling from there. Plus we have Foul Play, we could do a lot of work. We could do a lot of work, so I'm kind of leaning towards Yvelta. I do love me some evals, but Zassian is just a, he's just a pain to deal with. I'm going to go Kyogre in the back end just for a little bit of weather control. And then I feel like my boy Gardevoir, my girl Gardevoir over here, can do some work. I love Gardevoir. So yeah, we're going to rock out with Gardevoir. We're going to lock it in and we're going to lock it down. But yo, you guys got to let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. We got a good one for today. What are your guys' thoughts on the brand new legendaries for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet? Because me, I think they're absolutely nice. They look like top tier legendaries like one of the best box art legendaries in a while, right? Like, definitely better than Sword and Shield ones. And then I think they're definitely better than Sun and Moon. And it might be even be better than X and Y, but X and Y's got some good ones. X and Y's got some good ones. But, dude, these guys are top tier. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. I would love to know. But he's going to end up leading the Groudon, which is actually totally fine by us. We can actually fake out and uh, Dynamax. So I'm kind of leaning towards it. Fake out Dynamax. Go for an Airstream. Just take out Tornadus and roll from there. But I doubt he's going to Dynamax Groudon, right? Is he really going to Dynamax Groudon? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, he's white herb. I think he's herbed. He's herbed up. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to fake out. Say, hey, let me go after you. I'm just going to Airstream, and I'm going to finish this Pokemon. I probably should have went for the special defense drop, but if he takes out Incineroar, that's fine by me. I'm cool with that. Considering we could just roll into Kyogre at that point. But we'll see what he wants to do. We shall see what he wants to do. But yeah, I'm going to Dynamax you belt up right off the bat. And it is a brand new season. I just realized that. Season did change over, and I did not play yesterday. So this is my first first battle of the new season. Hopefully we get started off strong. 
but yeah like i mentioned in the beginning of the video huge giveaway well it's not like a huge giveaway but it's my first giveaway so i'm actually very excited for it and hopefully uh it goes towards some goodness you know hopefully somebody who gets it kind of needs a 20 dollars eShop gift card and it can benefit them so yeah i'm actually excited for that bunch of different ways to enter link down in the description below if you guys have any questions dm me tweet at me over on twitter or leave a comment in the comment section down below. i'd love to answer you guys and get back to you guys as soon as possible but yeah there's like eight different ways to kind of join it and if you do all eight ways you have eight chances of winning so like i said they stack the more you do the more chance you have of winning. which is pretty cool but this guy's gonna end up straight up dynamaxing out of i guess he's gonna go for blades i guess he's gonna go for blades and we're gonna be able to take out tornadoes no problem which is gorgeous unless it's a jack button we're hoping it's not a jack button that would be ugly it's not a jack button so yeah we're gonna say bye bye tornadoes i do not mind if he takes out my uh, i do not mind if he takes out mine i really don't mind it too much but if he does, we can just swap into Kyogre. And then we know we have speed. Then I can drop special defense. Because he is going to boost special defense if he takes out his normal with the max quake. He's kind of just going to roll from there. So we'll see what he wants to do. Is he quaking? If I had to guess he's quaking. Or he could rockfall. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to quake. But yeah, we're going to say bye bye to Incineroar. Incineroar is gone. I wish this thing was minus one. Because maybe we could have survived it. But still. I'm going to say bye bye to that. I'm going to change up weather, which is going to be huge. And then I'm just going to roll into a. Uh... I roll into an airstream next turn? Or do I roll into a darkness drop special defense? I think it really depends who he brings out. But yeah, weather's got to be in our favor because there's no way he's going to swap out this ground. I'm going to take weather here while he's on his ground on Zynamax. He might even go in the Charizard, which could really benefit us. Which could greatly benefit us. Let's see who he goes into. He's going to go in the Cherim. Oh, I'm sorry, Cherim. I'm sorry, Cherim. You're going to go in the Cherim with that heat? I'm going to bring that rain, baby. I'm going to bring that rain. I'm bringing that rain all day long. We're going to bring that rain out here. And I think from here, I just airstream take out Cherim, right? Drop a water spout. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna water spout an airstream. Even though he has plus one on special defense, water spout can get off some big old damage. Plus, we're gonna be able to outspeed after we pull off this airstream. This guy's really confused of what he should do now. He's really confused. But I don't think he can take out my Kyogre in one shot, even with a Quake. Even with a, uh, any, anything else. Quake would do the most damage, right? Yeah, it's stab. Unless he's rocking that Thunder coverage move. I don't think he is and even at that point I don't even know if he can take me out he's not like completely boosted on stats he's normal he's normal on stats so I think we're chilling here I think we have a uh, I think we're in the driver's seat because you know you belt the Dynamax with life form hits like a truck Loki does he's gonna help a hand okay so a, so now I'm a little scared we still are gonna be able to get off a water spout helping hand is gonna come out here that is gonna give him a decent boost but we're gonna be able to drop the single airstream yeah the thing is gone we're gonna take speed we are gonna be guaranteeing ourselves a water spout but again, he's plus one on special defense, but I still feel like this should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Like, it's water spout, full HP. Stab, super effective. Mystic water, rain. It's going to do some damage. Came to play. Let's see it. It's going to do some damage. Like I said, it's going to do some damage. He's going to max quake over here. If he wasn't boosted on special defense, we would have KO'd it instantly. And can we eat that? We do not, yo. That helping hand's doing good. That helping hand's definitely doing good. But, yo, I'll take that all day. That's some big old damage. We have speed with Yvelta. I'm loving it. I can suck a punch, take that thing out. I could uh, just take him out. And we do have Gardevoir here. Lovely little Gardevoir. And I think I just airstream into whatever Pokemon he throws out on the left side. Then we roll from there, right? Look at that. Yo, Gardevoir. Getting after it. Getting after it. He's going to bring out Zassi. I think we just airstream, right? Do I just airstream? That Pokemon is a little scary over there. I am going to trace. I am going to get Interpret Sword. <laughs> I'm going to boost my attack. Let's run it. Let's run it. That guy didn't like set a drought. So let me see your speed real quick. Let me see your speed, uh, Gardevoir. 143. That's tough. That is tough. But I feel like Zassi might protect. But I feel like I still have to get a game. Right? I guess someone should be able to take out that, uh, that Groudon. I feel like I should be able to take out that Groudon. Or should I use a different move? We'll do more damage. I see one like Gleam. Ah, Gleam would do a little bit more damage. I'm gonna go for Gleam. I'm gonna do that and do I just airstream or do I drop defense? I'm gonna airstream, just get a little speed boost here. I'm gonna airstream. He guards, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. We're doubling though. We, we're, we're running with this move, which is great. I'm gonna roll out with that, chip up some damage, and I wonder what he's gonna go into because we might lose this battle. We might lose this battle. That guard, that guard's scary. We have Sucker Punch ready to roll, but still, he has play rough, he has a bunch of different good moves. That's some gleam's gonna poke through here. We gleam it up. I'm gonna chip some damage up here. 
Right, I'm scared. I should have icy wind. Icy wind would have been the play. Just for a speed job. He's gonna go for behemoth. <gasps> that might that might that might be good for us unless we can't eat this. Can we eat this? Eat this, eat this, eat this, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh my god, dude, that Pokemon's way too strong. He's way too strong. Yeah, it's gonna be GG. That's gonna be GG's. Wow, dude, Zacian's just ripping. That Pokemon's ridiculously strong. God dang Zacian. God dang Zacian. I thought he would I thought he would go into like a behemoth blade onto my before. But I guess that's that's not the case. But now we can just behemoth blade. Right, yeah, he's just gonna do that. I'm just gonna icy win. Just take out that ground on and maybe give us a fighting chance, but yeah, I think it's pretty much over, right? Oh, we do outspeed. We do outspeed with that plus one. That's gorgeous. Should take out Groudon, right? Yeah, Groudon drops out. Wow. That's rough. That is rough. Yo, we're going to lose this battle. We are going to lose this battle. But yo, battle number one, pretty solid all around. Pretty solid all around. Zassian just comes in here being all OP and stuff. Taking out my Pokemon in one shot, no problem. I felt like we outplayed most of the match. And then this guy just brings in this dog. He's just like, ah, I'll just Behemoth Blade it and take the victory from you. Let's get rolling here in our second battle. I don't know what it has been lately, but our first battles, we've been losing. Like this past week, I think every single first battle, I've been losing. The second battle, we've been going hot. We've been grabbing ourselves some wins, but we're going up against a pretty cool team. Zacian is definitely a huge threat, and I definitely have to watch out for that. He also has the Defiant Thunder, so I got to watch out for that with my Incineroar. But I feel like Yvelta as a lead is just solid all So you know what? We're going to lead uh, Yvelta. We're going to roll out with that Pokemon. Then we might lead Raichu. Raichu is not too bad. Just for fake out control turn one. It is pretty solid. I do like the fake out control, or I can go into a, uh, I could go into Incineroar, but that, my problem is that Defiant Thunders could be hot. That Defiant Thunders could do me dirty. It could definitely do me dirty. So I don't know what I want to do. I do not know what I want to do. Maybe just go into, like, Raichu, just so we can post that threat with the Lightning Rod. I do like that. And then we'll bring Kyogre in the back end, and then last but not least, Incineroar. Yeah, let's roll out with Incineroar. I'm digging it. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves some in battle number two but like i said yo battle number one's been rough for you boy definitely been rough for you boy which i do not like i do not like i do not like it not like it but still yo we need to win here we need we need to get rolling on the board we got to get our subs win because you know nothing's worse than going 0 and 2 into battle number three it's just it's just awful because then i then i have i feel obligated to win because i cannot go 0 and 3 on the channel you guys know the deal with that so we end up leading these two i'm kind of cool with this turn i might dynamax and just get rid of uh whimsy here that could be my play call. Get rid of Whimsy. Dynamax into a Airstream. I think that's going to be my call all day. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what Whimsy's going to do. If Whimsy protects, I mean, Whimsy protects. It's fine. We still get off that a decent amount of damage with the Airstream. And more importantly, we get that speed boost. But we have two amazing legendary birds on them. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, oh. Looking gorgeous. Looking gorgeous. But my only problem going up against this team is going to be, oh, of course, he swaps a Whimsy. He swaps Whimsy. Who's he going to go into? Goes into him. Okay. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that because we're going to be able to do some decent damage. Luckily, we're not, we weren't going for like a like a darkness, which was going to lower his stats and proc defiant. I'm cool with this turn. I really do like this turn. I just think it's solid all around. Solid all around. But yeah, I'm really not too worried about that ho oh considering we have my boy uh, Kyrie in the back end. But what's called does pose a huge threat? Dashing. Dashing's our one problem. Zacian really does my team dirty. Like, he has a lot of super effective moves. I feel like I need my Kyogre to take out Zacian. That's, like, my only hope. But he's going to Dynamax his bird. I'm going to Dynamax my bird. I'm fine with that turn. Because I can E-Web next turn. Kind of just, like, slow everything down. Or I can just help him hand and get off some big damage. But I don't know if I should really worry about the Ho-Oh too much. I don't know if I should. I'm just going to fake out. Get off some chip damage here. And I think Airstream might be able to just double on this Pokemon. Right? Airstream does a ridiculous amount of damage. Not very effective, but still. Okay. Billy eats. I'm cool with that. Because an E-Web should be able to take that out. E-Web should be fine with that. E-Web should just be able to dump it. So we're going to get that speed boost. We're going to take some life orb damage. And what's Ho-Oh going for? Blair, he's just going to go for an airstream match speed. He's going to match speed here. Solid turn for him. But still, I think Raichu is fast. So I'm good. So he matches speed. We're going to lower it. And then I'm just going to drop a... Do I drop a darkness at this turn? Hmm. What's my player? I could drop a darkness and just lower that special defense stat. Which I'm with, yeah. We're gonna do that, and I'm just gonna go straight into an E-Web. The E-Web should be able to take out that, uh... That what's called? Oh, it goes into a Wild Charge. We're Lightning Rod it! We're Lightning Rod it! Which is gorgeous. That's a huge turn for us. That's a huge turn for us, and I'm surprised he outspeeds me. Wow, it goes into a Wild Charge. That's exactly why I brought in the Raichu for that Lightning Rod. So E-Web's gonna be able to take him out. That's huge. That's gorgeous. And we're gonna pro- Oh. That's, that's, that's no bueno right there. That is, that's no good. That is no good. 
That weakness policy, no good. No good. No good. Not good whatsoever. So Doctor's gonna fly through here. Hopefully he's going after my uh my Raichu. That'd be a good turn for us, but still we chip up some big old damage. That's some big old damage. That's some solid damage there. Kinda wish we went for an airstream at that point, but still. Go after my Raichu. Please go after my Raichu. Go after my Raichu. Cool, he goes after my Raichu. That's fine, we're sashed. We are sashed. So at this point, I'm just gonna E web. I'm gonna uh take more speed and I'm just gonna airstream. I could take out the ho here as well. But he's gonna he's gonna go into drought. I'll change the, up the weather later. And I just gotta hope that he kinda goes into Zassian just so we can uh, slow that thing down. Because again, Zassian's just that one Pokemon that's gonna be annoying me. He goes into Whimsy. Oh, Whimsy could tailwind here. Whimsy could tailwind. That is a problem. That is a problem. That is a problem. It's a huge problem. Whimsy tail winning is a huge problem. Let's roll out like this. Yeah, I'm gonna roll out like that. That's a huge problem. This tailwind's a huge problem. This tailwind is a huge problem. Who's he gonna take out? That's a real question. Can he even take out my Yvelta? Oh, we saw it speed. My Raichu still at speed. Come on, make my make my what's called out speed now. Let my Yvelta out speed. That could be a huge turn for us. That could be a lovely turn for us. That could be a lovely turn. We do. We out speed. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Then we get rid of the Wimscott. Ho's gonna go now. And I wonder who he's gonna go after. I wonder who he's gonna go after. That town was just a problem. We get rid of the Whimsicott. Oh, uh still kind of looking ra rather annoying here. He's gonna go for a flare. Who's he going after? Go after Yvelts. Yvelts might be able to soak this. No, he's weakness policy. I forgot. We're dead. Okay, so we died of that. We have to bring out. This is tough. This is real tough for us. We know an E Web can finish off Ho-Oh. Uh we know an E Web can finish off. Oh, I can bring out you. That's solid. That's solid. I forgot I had you. If he does have Zassian in the back end, I'm just gonna be able to do this. And drop an Intimidate. Show me Zassian. Bang. There's Zassian. We get off a free Intimidate. Um, I just feel like we just have to fake out and start posing threats with E-Webs, right? Let's not play all day. Because E-Web can take out Ho-Oh, no problem. And if I could just E-Web, slow down, slow down, slow, just slow down. And bring out Kyogre in the back end. We should be thriving. We should be thriving. Because again, E-Web will take out Ho-Oh, no problem. So the only way he, his Ho-Oh stays on field is if he doesn't. Because we know that my boy outspeeds him. My boy, uh, that I chew. Right, chew outspeeds him. But yeah, fake out 100% in the slot. And then E-Web coming in hot. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Do not protect Ho. You can protect Zassian all you want. But Ho, oh, nah. We, we, we need that thing down. We need that thing down. So if Ho drops out here, I think we should uh, have this battle unlocked. We shall see. We shall see. I could go for Sings, but Sings are so risky. He protects who? He protects Zassian. Okay, so Zassian's protected. Do not protect Ho. Oh my god, that ruins everything. That ruins everything. I think we have to take a hoe, you right? I think we have to take a hoe. But I can't. I, I don't think I can do enough damage to take out uh, with a. Uh, actually, Flare Puts might in this drought. We're going to roll out with it. We're going to roll out with it. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. If Zassian goes after Incineroar, we'll be, we'll be fine with that. The player off? We, we might be able to eat up a player off. He's even. He's not plus one. Dude, this is so annoying. I would just love my Raichu to get off uh, an E-Web here. I would love for my Raichu to get off an E-Web. Because, like, we're out playing him. Zassian's just so good. He goes for Behemoth Blade. He's going to take out my Raichu. I think we should be fine with this. He just take out my Raichu. So, smart play by him. He takes out Raichu. Um, we're going to go after his ho -Oh. We got to hope that we take out this ho -Oh. oh, might be able to take me out with an oh, Ancient Power. Oh, no. Eat this. Cool, you eat. No, no stat boost. No stat boost. Cool, no stat boost. Flare butts are coming in hot. Yo, take him out, please. Take him out. Let's go. Okay, so we pick up the KO on that end. Now we can bring out my boy. Now we can bring out my boy Ogre. So Ogre's gonna get rolling here. We're gonna be lower on the HP stat, but uh, I'm gonna roll out into this. Oh, what do we do? This is tough because my boy in Cinema cannot do a lot of damage in rain. But I feel like my uh, my Kyogre should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer, and we can just drop a big old range pulse. Right, that does sound good. That does sound good. So, you know, we're just going to go into this. And we have to drop this origin boost, right? Because he's going to go after my Ogre, no problem. He's going to go after my Kyogre, no problem. He's going to go for the player off. 
We dodged it. That's huge. That's huge dodge. Origin Pulse connects. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's huge. KO here. Big time KO. Victory. Yes, sir. Like I said, we needed that Kyogre to take out Zassian. Zassian was the only problem, and it works out perfectly. We're one on one. Let's hop into a third. Look for that winning record. I'm so tired of going up against Zacian. It's just Zacian after Zacian after Zacian. But hey, we're looking for that winning record here. This one's going to look tough for us. He's got the Kyogre Zacian combo with the uh, Zapdos, Rillaboom, Urshfu, and Kuzma. So yeah, looking very tough for us. I think he just rolls into that uh, rain squad very easily. Kind of just controls the battle there. I could go into Incineroar. Incineroar's not too bad. But the problem here is going to be like Incineroar with, uh, with that Kyogre. Dude, yes. Oh my god, dude, this team's gonna. I feel like this team just rips into me, but uh, I could lead a Kyogre on my own. I could go into Follow Me's. Follow Me's are not too shabby. You know, I might go Kyogre into this and then bring you Belt it in the back end. And then, last but not least, we have to go Incineroar. Sorry, Gardevoir. Sorry, Gardevoir. You got a little bit of loving in battle number one, but it's all good. It is all good. We're gonna have to roll out with the squad. Because Gardevoir doesn't do really too much here. He gets ripped on by Incineroar. Urshfu can hit it hard. Rillaboom with just straight rescue, I could do work on it. So I'd rather just bring the Indeedee and get the Surge roll. That's my play all day. That is my play all day. All day. So let's see who he ends up leading. He's gonna read, I think he's gonna lead the Rain Squad, right? Yeah. I was gonna say, Rain Squad's like a pretty easy option. This is tough, dude. This is tough. His Kingdra's gonna run me. His Kingdra is just going to steamroll me gonna be a rough set of battles for us today we did win one and this and the first battle we did outplay but this last battle this is not looking good this is not looking good rain squad comes in hot um, i'm trying to think of what i could have done to it. work done onto it and too much to do more damage ice beam maybe look for a freeze i don't know what to do follow me you gotta follow me out because hopefully he dynamaxes the kingdra and we can just start like uh wasting dynamax turns i think that's our best bet and then roll into about the dynamax him yeah, this is just a pain, dude. This is just a pain. It's just a big pain. This is rough. This is this is this is the definition. We uh, it would be huge if we can get off a freeze, but dude, this is this is looking like he has a chance to sweep me. We don't get swept on the channel, so we have to pick up at least one KO. You guys know the deal. So you know, I'm gonna follow me. Give me a freeze, Kyogre. Give me a freeze. Give me some RNG luck here. He goes toward the airstream. So he's gonna airstream instead of a uh, instead of geysering. That's fine. But I think our water spout comes in hot and KOs my indeed anyway. Right? That's looking scary. That's definitely looking scary. Here comes the water spout. E -e. Leave me alone! Eat this up, Indeedy. I love you, Indeedy. That's awesome. We can get off another follow me. That's huge. So we can waste out some more turns. Ice Beam's gonna come, come in here and give us a freeze, right? Give us a freeze! Oh, dude. Freeze would've been gorgeous. Let's do it again. Follow me. Run it up. We're gonna waste out this King just turn. I'm huge. That's huge. That is huge. We'll take that all day. We'll waste out the Kingdra turns. So waste out these Kingdra turns all day long. Not dealing with the Kingdra. Not dealing with the Kingdra. It's tough because we're gonna need like Yvelta to carry, and this is just not looking good for us. He just had the best lead up against us, and if we would have swapped any of these Pokemon, we could have really just got ripped up. So he's gonna airstream again. He's gonna take out you, and what's he gonna go for? Hopefully he's not rocking Thunder. Thunder could do me. Damage. Thunder could be a scary little, scary little move here. I would love to have Kyogre for at least one more turn after this. That would at least give us a chance. Hopefully he's not rocking the thunder. Let's see. Cool. Yeah, I think he's choice. Might be choice. Rocking into another water spout. Actually, that did a lot of damage. Did a ridiculous amount of damage. Ice Beam's gonna fly. Give me a freeze, yo. That's all I'm asking for. Give me a freeze. Oh, dude, no freeze. No freeze. It can freeze, right? Yeah, it can freeze. Uh, we gotta go into Evolve. Or we can go into Cinema. I'm gonna go into your belts. I'm gonna go into your belts. I'm gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna get rid of this uh this king. King just got to go. King just got to go. They're 100 percent as good. I might guard it. It's gonna be tough. We're just gonna ice beam. We're just gonna ice beam an ogre. Maybe we get a, get off a freeze and we're just gonna Dynamax and do I airstream? Would airstream be a better bet. Yeah. Probably take some speed with this. It's tough. It's tough. Please don't guard the king. Whatever you do, do not guard the Kingdra. That's all I'm asking, because we cannot get swept. You guys know to deal with that. We cannot get swept. Need a little bit of hydration. The no sweep hydration. There's two rules on the channel, if you guys do not know. My longtime viewers know. We can't go 0-3, and we cannot get swept. And once that happens, I have to delete my channel. My channel's going forever. 
My channel will be gone forever. Nice geyser. Coming in hot. The belt is gonna be able to soak pretty well. Lovely. And uh water spots looking a little scary here. Pick this up, you belts. Belts eats. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. We're not gonna get swept. That's huge. So we don't get swept. That's huge, but uh this this battle is just not looking good for us. Actually, I mean we still have fighting chance because we take you out here, right? Yeah. So we take you out here. I can double down into ogre. That's like our best bet. Right? Double down an ogre with a fake out. But still, at this point, he has Sassy in the back end. It's looking ugly. He's looking no bueno. Maybe he'll protect his Sassy. Maybe oh, we go to we, we, we drop the life orb damage. So that's rough. <laughs> that's rough. We're gonna die to life orb damage. But still, we're gonna we're gonna go out with a fight. We we want this Kyogre dead, just because of all the damage he did on my team. It's just ridiculous how strong he is, especially when he's just like boosted with speed. He can just rip into me. He can just rip into me. But we're gonna bring in Incineroar. I think he does bring out Sassy. And it brings out Zap. Zip Zap. Zip zap, zoobity zap comes out. Zip zap, zoobity zap. <laughs> comes out on the field. Uh, at this point, we just have to fake out you. You're like the Pokemon that poses the most threat. And then we go into darkness. What would we do? Darkness looks cool. Actually, Airstream would be better for this one. So, my, uh, you about to die after this. So, we're hoping he doesn't protect the Kyogre just so we can maybe get off KO. But, we did. We 1,000% lost this battle, but so I'm going for this KO before we actually run the battle. So I would love to get another KO, but luckily we didn't get swept. You guys know the deal. We're going to go 1-2 for today's video. And what am I doing? This is, I deserve to lose this battle. I deserve to lose this battle. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> I just tried faking out with the terrain. I'm just not thinking right now, but hey, 1-2 and two for today's video. First battle was definitely very close. Second battle, we picked up a win. And third and final battle, we just got absolutely dumped on. Not a bad set of battles for today's video. Definitely got wrecked in battle number three, but battle number one was super close. Definitely could have went in our, in our favor, and then we could have grabbed ourselves a winning record. But hey, at least we grabbed ourselves a win in battle number two. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Don't forget about the brand new giveaway, $20 eShop gift card. Link is down in the description below. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.